Welcome to Operation Pixel. Hello. Uh, I'm here with my guest care host today. We just called you Mike before, right? When you were in Bubble Bubble? Yeah. Yeah. Mike's good. So we're here with Mike. Uh, and he wants to show up Mega Man 9. Yes. It's been a while since I've played it, but I have played the crap out of it. <laughs> it's like, maybe an understatement. It's probably the game I'm the best at. <laughs> I remember there was a time you had to, you were telling me about going for Mr. Perfect, uh, which yes. was beating the entire game without taking a single hit. Speaking of which, there it is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this took me months to get, but it yep. was quite fun. Yeah, so I bet you most people don't have that. Yeah. Um, also, those, those of you who are paying too much attention may notice he has 98% oh. achievements. <laughs> uh, he was telling me about this before we got started here. Uh, I don't have. You need to sit through the credits 30 times is the main part there, but I've definitely beat the game or got to the credits 30 times already. Uh, so so you just don't have that one because you're lazy? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do while playing this is trying to just get hit as little as possible. I'm mm -hmm. not going to like restart if I do get hit. Yeah, well, you're not going for a Mr. Perfect run here. Yeah. Just just show show the viewers all the cool secrets and stuff. <laughs> yeah, so, so I'll get started here. Uh, I think most people prefer to start with Splash Win, but I always go Galaxy Man. Mostly because his thing's pretty good, but the one he gets after that is amazing. The Jewel Man ability. Ah, yeah, you, I, remember, I remember you showed me this game one time where you ran through it like... I was having a party or something and you showed up like an hour early. Mm -hmm. And so you just like basically play through the entire game. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna... I don't know. It might be fun to count how many times I get hit, but hopefully it's not a lot. <laughs> I would say I'll put an on-screen counter, but I won't because I'm too lazy. Maybe it's unless, zero. <laughs> unless, yeah, unless it's zero, then the uh, on-screen counter will be a possibility. Oh. oh. <laughs> that didn't work out very well. I guess you were aiming for the ladder. Uh, sort of. I was trying to get like a little shortcut in there, just grab the ladder and jump off again. I see. And uh, it's worth noting, I guess, on the Mr. Perfect, it only really counts on the final four levels, because you can actually save and load in between. Mm -hmm. But I still play these levels quite a bit anyway. Yeah. So I should be still pretty good at these ones. Yeah, I think, I think the last ones are the ones I'm the like, most practiced in. I think you were telling me at one point that uh, you set a challenge for yourself to try and run the uh, Galaxy Man level blindfolded. Uh, yeah, as long as you have like the spike boots and stuff. It's possible, but you will get hit a lot. <laughs> Just a little laziness here. I see. So, I have another question. Does mm -hmm. does falling into spikes and dying count as uh, taking a hit? I actually don't know, because I would not risk that many hours of trying <laughs> after getting hit by spikes. <laughs> I even uh, didn't try with uh, spike views, and that doesn't get the count. So, okay. speed boost. Yep. Yeah, I bet this part would be a little Gotta sketchy with your here. eyes closed. Yeah. Well, actually, it's... Well, yeah. Well, I guess it's That's timed, you get, like, the but spike shoes and more or less, things. but yeah. The spike shoes block you from one hit from being hit by a spike. I see. So you sort of get one recovery? Yeah. Gotcha. And this is the checkpoint area. Now yeah, this is... Fun. I remember, I think... I think I actually started up this game one time. So, uh, I think I was over at uh, Ark's place. Mm -hmm. And he like started up the game and then went left the room for a minute. And he's like, "Here, you play." <laughs> uh, I forget whose stage I went to. I think it was like, I think it was like moving batteries or something like that that like rotated. Oh, that's probably Tornado Man. Or that you stand on him and they spin you around upside down. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I died there so many times I never made it to the boss. I see. I'm I'm not good at Mega Man games. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest. Uh, I've I don't think I've ever really played through one. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I've bumped a few of them, and uh, Mega Man Six I saw a lot of because Ark had that one growing up. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I think he played that one on the show. Pretty sure he did. Though I, I think it took him more than an hour to beat it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Might be a little different depending on the uh, the games. Yeah, it's like remember all these little guys are. Do you know if this game's, like, uh, shorter than most of the other Mega Man games, or...? Uh, I don't know about comparatively, but this will probably take about 40 minutes, I would imagine. Alright, well, it's gonna be split into a few episodes. If it's 40 minutes, it'll probably be about four episodes. Mm -hmm. oh, this is the fun part. You just go right once every time. 
I see. And then you barely jump to these guys. And then, yeah. <laughs> like, it looks a lot more impressive, but when you know, you just go right once. <laughs> yeah. Here's the first boss. Um, he's not too hard. Like, rarely I'll get hit by him if I'm, like, at least practice. Mm -hmm. He's got to, like, juke his thing a little bit. And then you gotta hit him a couple times. The one thing you do is kind of charge at you, which he isn't doing. It's like the one thing that can maybe hit you. Get to jump over him. Uh, so far, so good. Yeah. That is the charge thing. He did twice. Okay. Now, the reason why people start splashing is because she actually takes more damage from this starter weapon. Oh, yeah? She takes She's weak from... to the basic weapon? Yeah. <laughs> I find it funny that people, like... Like... People got excited that they finally made a robot woman. <laughs> and like, yeah, but she's basically the first boss. She's the weakest robot master. <laughs> yeah. I just don't like that stage too much. There's a lot of spikes on the stage. I see. Now this guy's as good as dead. Okay. Well, no hits besides the first <laughs> the spike death. start. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the next level actually has a pretty difficult mini boss that I'll probably get hit by. But I guess we'll see. And yeah, this weapon, you can, uh... Control it up and down, and it travels horizontally by itself. But it's very, very effective against this next boss. <laughs> uh, you'll see as long as I don't screw up doing it. It's actually pretty hilarious. It's probably the single weakest boss to the weapon that he's weak against. <laughs> uh, Jewel Man. I was actually going to mention this, because uh, I know you're you're big into speed runs. Yeah. Uh, would, would you say that, like, if you tried... Could you make a uh, competitive speed run time on Mega Man 9? Uh, well... Uh, so at one point I was in the top 10 on the Xbox leaderboards, actually on Wily Stage 2. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very specific. Yeah, it is. But I like running that one. But, uh, beyond that, not really. It's mostly not about, like, knowing everything, it's just getting these tricks with really low percentage success rates. Uh-huh. And, like, sometimes random boss patterns and things. You're just like you have to keep restarting. I'm actually in a little bit of trouble here. Whoa. <laughs> that was close. Yeah, man. Whoa. Those are some sick dodging skills. Jeez. That's not that you're supposed to go, but it didn't get hit. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works, man. Yeah. And here I can show off a little bit of uh, one thing. Just be careful. Like, I could be going faster, obviously, and just tank hits, but mm -hmm. I'm going for the hit as less times as possible. <laughs> Fine. Sure. Yeah, you, yeah, you know what, you know what, like, that, that's fair. Like, what if there's someone who's watching this for some reason now, like, years after Mega Man 9 has been released, <laughs> who's like, man, I always wanted to get Mr. Perfect. If only I knew the tricks. <laughs> yeah, well, don't do that one room like I did, at the very least. <laughs> the one spike room? Well, the one room that, well, that room, but also the one where I was barely dodging everything. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this guy is a pain. And so... Where he stops up there was where he'll show up next time. So he's gonna okay. show up on the right side now. Yeah, the second on the right. But these rocks are a pain. And if you don't jump, you'll get stunned. So far, it's going decent, actually. Yeah. It's gonna be on the left side. Yeah, I can see this this being a pain. That nice. was good. <laughs> that was the thing I was most worried about in this stage. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. There's still <laughs> instant death spikes. Oh, I forgot about this. Not be handling this like that, but it worked. <laughs> <laughs> and it has been literally years since I've really played this game. Uh huh. So I pretty much stopped doing Mr. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, man. I think like I don't know if you've played it since then, but I think the last time I saw you play this game, like uh, the time I mentioned before, and you're at my party, mm -hmm. you played it a little bit before everyone came by. Oh, and that jump right there. It's really tricky if you don't just know the trick. You just kind of full run right and then do a tiny jump. It gets <laughs> you across every time. Oh. Um. Ah. Oh. One. <laughs> well, I guess two if you count the spikes. So. Yeah. Ooh. But um. Laziness. Yeah, I think I think that party was two or three years ago. It was actually probably the last time I played played the game at all. Yeah. So, I mean, three years since you played it last. Mm -hmm. I think I think that's probably accurate. I think it's been three years. I know there's a guy here that does the big jumping stuff. <laughs> you can get him in one go there, but I was gonna risk it. <laughs> so this is the guy that's hopefully gonna get destroyed. 
Uh, so the strategy is you can trick him into jumping, because when you jump, he jumps. So I should actually be able to hit him four times with a single shot here. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Nice! Yeah, that's the trick there, and then he's dead man. <laughs> <laughs> So. Oh, did you, did you tell people about pausing? Oh, uh, Wait, so... Wait, pause there? Yeah, when you pause the game, it wipes that attack off the screen. Because normally you can't shoot it again until it's off the screen, and it takes quite a while to go off. So if you just pause it and unpause, you can shoot another one. Which is actually pretty handy on a late game boss, too. Cool. And this is one of the best abilities in the game for not getting hit. We're actually going to see it in use right away in the next Isn't level. Isn't that basically well. the leaf shield? Uh... From earlier Mega Man? I actually... I don't know exactly how the leaf shield worked. Did it persist when you hit things with it? Uh, I thought it I'm might have sure. actually destroyed. Because this one I, persists as long as you kill the thing. I don't know enough about Mega Man to say for sure, mm -hmm. but it looks very similar. Oh, and this boss, I can technically beat without getting hit without looking, but he used to be one of the hardest ones <laughs> until I found a trick, so <laughs> you'll well, see that soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess we'll see the rest of the stage and him next time on Operation Pixel. Yeah, I have to stay here forever and be safe, so. Okay, then we'll... <laughs> We'll be right back.